when you're first starting out and you're a young writer, but you don't know anything, you might start googling how to write a story, how to plot, what trope should I avoid in my book? And it's super tempting to try to implement all the advice and become the bestest writer ever. Trust me, I know. But here are some things you consider before you waste your time with shallow or unhelpful advice. Question your source and authority. Has the person who's giving you the advice published something? Work in publishing? If they haven't, they might not be that reliable of a source. Also, someone who only published a book or two after using the AuthorTube marketing funnel to get a fan base might not be selling their books on the strength of their writing, but on the strength of their marketing. Which is, by the way, something worth emulating, but not something that will necessarily make you a better writer. But most importantly, do you share tastes? If you don't like the author's writing or you don't agree with the samples they provide as good, then maybe that's not someone whose advice you want to take. For me, I'm Amai Gurry, a professional narrative designer, and I'm paid to write game stories. I have work published by Wizards of the Coast, but it's not prose, so someone like you who's looking for advice, maybe it's not worth it. I also studied game writing school, but you know, to know if you actually like my writing, you should probably read some of it. It's online, and it's free. Link in the doobly please do. Nextly, you should probably question motives. Why is this person posted this video, given this piece of advice? If you're on AuthorTube looking for writing advice, you're probably looking to get better at writing. But are these people trying to help you get better? Or are they trying to sell you a product, their writing courses, their writing book, their Patreon subscriptions? Or are they just trying to convince you that they know what they're talking about so they'll re you'll buy their stuff later? Also, why do you think I'm making this video? Leave a comment and let me know. Next, don't confuse nitpicking and cynicism with depth, substance, and intelligence. I know I did when I was a teen. Thank you, CinemaSins. Sometimes nitpicking is a lark, but it's not the same thing as analysis. An analysis is understanding cause and effect, i.e. this writer uses this trope to achieve this effect, not this writer uses a trope and therefore bad because trope cliché. Next, would this advice actually make your work better? Some of my friends can't write every day, but they can write a ton when they hyperfixate on their writing. Some people genuinely write better without an outline, some people genuinely write better with them. You have to figure out what works best for you. And the only way to do that is to actually try out a lot of things and get feedback on your work individually. All is to say, think critically. And while it's easy to say, just think critically, it's actually a lot harder to work against smart branding, snappy presentation, and the internal craving for external validation, especially when writing is such a lonely craft and you're a young writer and it's hard to find feedback that'll actually make you grow. I'm literally there right now, so uh, hopefully this short video will remind you to mind from whom you're learning and find sources you can actually trust. If you try to decided to trust me, don't forget you can like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you more for World Building Wednesdays.